Hello everyone. If you've been trying to figure out how to make a custom shaped selection for image cropping in paint.net, then you've come to the right place. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do just that, through a simple exercise of creating a bevel wooden textured number image like this, from this wooden texture image. Alright, let's get started. So here I've created an image of 800 by 800 pixels with a white background, and placed the wooden texture image on a separate layer on top of it. The next thing we need to do is draw the number or letter that we want on a new layer above the wood layer using the text tool. So first I'll create a new layer, and name it number. And then I'll go to the toolbox and click the text tool. On the text tools options, select the desired font, set the font size to your preferred size, and you probably also want to set the font style and the text alignment. As for the text color, you can use any color as long as it's distinct from the color of the texture image you are using. For this example, I'm going to leave the text color white. And then simply draw or type in the number on the canvas, and press the escape key on the keyboard to confirm it. Now double click the number layer preview to open its layer properties dialog. On the layer properties dialog, Change the layer's opacity to about 100 so that you can see part of the texture image that is being covered by the number image. To get the desired texture on the final result later, you can move around either the number image or the texture image such that the number image covers part of the wooden texture you desire. For this example, let me just move the texture image around like this. Alright, now we are ready to make a custom shape selection of the wooden texture image. So go back to the number layer, and then go to the toolbox and click the magic wand tool. Then click anywhere on the number or letter you've drawn just now to make a custom shape selection of the number image. Now go to the layers panel and select the wooden texture image layer to apply the selection you just made to this layer. At this point, you may either crop the wooden texture image to this selection, or simply cut or copy part of it that falls within the selection boundary. For this example, I'll just copy the selected part of the texture image and paste it on a new layer above the wood layer. Now hide the wood and the number layers, and you'll see the result of the custom shaped selection technique we just applied. Press the escape key on the keyboard to deselect the selected image. To add the bevel effect, you need to have the Boltbaits plugins pack installed on your PC. If you do, go to the menu bar and click Effects. Select Object and then click Bevel Object. On the Bevel Object Settings dialog, you can play around with the angle, depth, strength and other options to get the desired bevel effect. Alright, so that how easy it is to make a custom shaped selection for image cropping or copying in paint.net. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.